It's hard to believe that it's been about one year since I was sitting at WordCamp US 2017 in Nashville, Tennessee. I was listening to Matt Mullenweg deliver the state of the word. And the main topic of interest was none other than Gutenberg. At that time, the plan for Gutenberg was to be released April of 2018, which is this year. Well, that didn't quite happen, but the time has come. Gutenberg is imminent and will be native to WordPress in version 5.0, which will be released in a couple of weeks from the time of making this video. I'm Ben and I'm the co-founder of Fly Plugins and on this channel we give tutorials, tips, and strategies for building and selling online courses with WordPress. Would you do me a big favor and show us some love by clicking on that subscribe button below. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the release of Gutenberg and how it applies to WP Courseware and S3 Media Maestro. I'm certain there are a lot of concerned individuals because this is one of the biggest upgrades that has been developed in WordPress. That said, we've had several concerned customers ask us if our plugins are ready for Gutenberg. And the answer is, we are ready for Gutenberg. I will be giving a brief tutorial on how you can use Gutenberg to build WP Courseware blocks, as well as how you can add media with S3 Media Maestro blocks. Before I get to that, I just wanted to mention quickly that we would love for you to join us for our Office Hours broadcast on the fourth Friday of every month. To find out more, visit our website, flyplugins.com forward slash office hours. First, I will cover how S3 Media Maestro works with Gutenberg. So this is how you add media with an S3 Media Maestro block. Okay, so let's take a look at how you can add a video or audio file or even a downloadable file uh, utilizing the Gutenberg editor. So let's go ahead and let's head over to our pages. Let's create a new page. And you'll notice I've got the beautiful Gutenberg editor right before me. So let's go ahead and type in a title. Now, you'll notice that we do have an option for S3 Media Maestro so that you can add an S3 Media Maestro block. When you add the block, you can then click the button which will open up the short code builder. From here, you can simply add in your video. So we'll select a video and we'll go ahead and insert that. The really cool thing is that you get a preview uh, immediately when you insert your video so you can actually watch it. Um, so let's go ahead and add in a audio file. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click into the editor and we're going to change this over to an audio file and we will find a file for the audio player we will insert that and again you can you can you can test it you can play it because it does have a live preview and lastly let's go ahead and add in a file so let's take a look and see if we can find a flat file for download. And there is a PDF. So let's go ahead and insert that. And again, you could click on this here, but since this is a downloadable file, it will likely take you away from the editor. So we don't, we don't want to uh, attempt to preview that just yet. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and just click publish. And we are now published, so we can click over to view the page. And you'll notice we have our video, we have our audio file, and we have our download link. If I click the download now, you'll notice I get the file downloaded to my local computer. And that's it. That's how you add a media file using the Gutenberg editor. Now, on to WP Courseware. The first block we will demo is the course enrollment button. Here's how it works. Okay, so the first block that we're gonna take a look at for WP Courseware is the enrollment button. So let's head over to our pages. Let's create a new page. 
and we will call this enrollment button. Okay, so now if we click over here on the little plus symbol, you'll notice that we actually have a section down towards the bottom for WP Courseware blocks. And what we're going to select is course enrollment. From this drop down, you can select the course or courses that you want to add to the enrollment button. Uh, in this particular case, we only have a single course available. Um, so we're going to go ahead and add that and we are going to click done. So now we have the enrollment button. Now you'll notice that you have some parameters here on the right hand side under the block section. You can change the enrollment button text by simply typing in the desired text into the text box here. Now the other option that you have here is you can display the enrolled message or not. So this is simply just a toggle. Um, the enrolled message actually shows up after you click the enrollment button. So if you don't want the message to appear that you've enrolled into the course, it's kind of a confirmation message. You can disable that here. If you want to keep the message, simply just leave this option turned on. Okay, so now let's go ahead and click publish. And let's go ahead and view our page. So you'll see we've got our nice enrollment button here. And you'll notice when I click the button, I do get the message. The second block we will demo is the single course outline. Check it out. Okay, so let's take a look at how you add a course outline. So let's navigate over to our pages and click add new. Let's go ahead and give this a title. And let's go ahead and take a look at our options here. Under WP Courseware Blocks, you'll notice we have a course outline right here. Let's go ahead and click the option. Now, if you remember, course outlines only allow you to add a single course to the outline. This is a static outline specific to a course. So if we go ahead and add in the course, you'll notice a secondary option that becomes available. You can actually set it to only display a particular module. In this case, we're just gonna display the entire course outline and we're gonna click done. You're also gonna notice that the preview shows up immediately. And we also have some options here on the right hand side under the, under the block options here. So we can enable the title we can also enable the description. In this particular case, I don't believe I have a description. And you can also display quiz grades if they are available. So if there's a actual quiz for that particular unit, it would show up here. And we'll just go ahead and simply click publish. And we can actually take a look at this on the front end to see what it looks like and it looks exactly as we configured it. We have the quiz grade, we have our title, and we do have our outline displaying a single course. Now I do wanna give the caveat here. Um, this is just a, a reminder on how the course outline does work. Uh, if you'll notice, I'm actually logged in here to the uh, website, which means that I will see live links here. But if I log out, You'll notice that I don't have live links here for the course outline. It does display the outline so that you know what's included in the course, but the links are not live. The third block we will demo is the course progress block. Here's how it works. Okay, so now let's take a look at how to add a course progress block. Let's go ahead and navigate to our pages and add a new page. We will call this course progress and we will add a new block. And under WP Courseware Blocks, you'll notice that we have Course Progress. Now with the Course Progress shortcode, if you remember, you have the option to specify courses. However, it's not necessary. Basically what happens is the shortcode detects the user that's logged in and checks to see which courses they are enrolled into. If they are enrolled into a course or multiple courses, it will display a course outline for each course they are enrolled into. So if you only specify a specific course here and the student that is logged in is not enrolled into that course, they will see absolutely nothing. Uh, however, if they are enrolled into that specific course, they will see an outline 
but only for that specific course. So in this instance, I'm not going to select a course here in this area. Uh, if you notice over here on the side, we do have options for show user progress, which you can toggle on or off. You can also toggle the user grade on and off. Now this is the cumulative grade. This is actually the individual quiz grade. So when you, when you go into the actual uh, outline and open it up, you would see uh, an individual quiz grade for this particular quiz. However, the overall quiz grade is the option show user grade. The certificate button can be disabled or enabled as well. Obviously there's not one available for this particular course because the course is not completed. And once you are completed with configuring the course progress block, you can go ahead and click publish and we'll view the page. And there we are, we have our course progress outline. And again, I'm only enrolled into a single course. Actually, there's only a single course uh, that exists in this uh, install for WordPress. However, if there were multiple courses and I was enrolled into them, you would see uh, multiple courses listed here and they would work with the accordion style uh, drop down here. The fourth and final block is the course list. This is how this one works. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the course list block. So let's navigate over to our pages and let's create a new page. We will call this course list and we will go ahead and add a block for course list. Okay, so the course list will add a listing of all courses that are published or available. Now each course has the option to uh, add a featured image so you can disable or enable the featured image in this particular course i do not have a featured image you can show or uh, not show the description for the course uh, and you can also disable the button now one thing that you can take note of here is that you can order the courses either by date published or you can order them by title so you can order them by title, either ascending or descending, or by date, ascending or descending as well. You can also control the number of courses that are displayed per page. So if you only want to display 10 courses uh, on a single page, then you can simply uh, set this value to 10, or you can increase this uh, as you see fit. Once you've configured your block here for the course list. We'll go ahead and click publish and we will view our page and you'll notice we have our how to train dogs 101. The enrollment button did not appear and that is only because I'm already enrolled into the course. So there's no need to add an enrollment button here. However, if I was not enrolled, the enrollment button would have showed up here. And that's it. Not too bad, right? I'm just curious. What are your thoughts on Gutenberg? Will you be upgrading to WordPress 5.0? or will you be waiting a few months? What do you like or dislike about Gutenberg? Let me know in the comments. Again, would you please subscribe below so that you don't miss out on any of our helpful video content. And as always, thank you for watching.